Hello, I'm Josh Martin, the Technology Sales Manager at Eminent Speaker, and today we're on location at First Baptist Church in Shelbyville, Kentucky. We got a phone call from them that one of the tweeters in their youth room had blown, and as you can see, the cabinet in which we have to replace the tweeter is pretty high up there. We, in fact, have the, the lift in here so that we can get up there, and there's a lot of cost and things like that associated with not just a blown tweeter, but having to replace that. Well, part of what we want to do today, they've allowed us to come in and, and do some videos to explain our Defend technology and the SA300 specifically. What are the typical applications for that? How do you set this unit up? And hopefully this will be the last time that they have to bring this lift into the youth room. Okay, so here we go. Okay, the work's done, tweeter's in, took about 30 minutes, so uh, hopefully they won't have to do this again. Okay, here we are back at the controls, and this is actually the perfect scenario for the Defend SA300. We're here at the church, we've got an install, and we have speakers that are flown really high above the ground, so we want to make sure that they never have to get back up to replace a, a tweeter or a woofer or anything, a crossover, anything that we can protect, that's what we want to do with the Defend SA300. It's also good for other applications as well, not just installs, it's certainly good for that, but it's good for contractors, for people who rent equipment to DJs, and you often get back speakers that have been blown from a DJ pushing things too hard. Maybe you're a band and you just want to protect your investment. The Defend SA300 is perfect for all of those scenarios. So we want to show you a little bit about how to set this up and that kind of thing using it on our mains today. Um, as far as placement of the Defend technology, where do you actually put that in the signal path? You want to make sure that you put this between the amplifier and the speaker cabinet. This is different from, say, a line level limiter that's always before the amplifier. The cool thing about the Defend technology is it will protect anything that happens anywhere in that signal path up to that speaker. So if the amplifier goes DC, it will protect from that. If somebody, uh, their foot maybe hits the volume knob on the front of the amplifier, it will protect from over voltage that way as well. So you just want to make sure that you put the Defend SA300 between the amplifier and the speaker cabinet. Now when you get the Defend out of the box, when you receive that, it will come with a USB cable. But it will also be pre-programmed with settings that we've used at Eminence for quality assurance purposes only, where we've tested the units before we've sent them out. You do not want to take this unit out of the box, plug it in, and expect it to work for your cabinet right away. You definitely want to program this using the, the wizard and the software that we've provided, because if you just pull it out, plug it in, there's a pretty good chance it's not going to work right with your system. Well, here at First Baptist Church, the youth, they're using the Mackey S408 main cabinets, and um, that's what we want to set up today. If you need to know the information on the cabinet that you have, let's say that you have a cabinet that um, you don't have the user manual for anymore. You can do exactly what we did today. We're in the youth room. They probably don't have the user manual anywhere handy, so I just simply went to Mackey's website. They do a great job of putting all the information about their cabinets on there. So I went to their website, got the information that I'm going to need in order to program the unit. So let's go ahead and take a look at the software and see what we've got. Okay, here we are at the computer. We've got uh, the Defend uh, technology app pulled up and what the first page that you come to here is your terms and conditions page as we've discussed in the earlier videos. You select that. We're going to start the program with the wizard just simply because we know quite a bit about the cabinet from the internet but we don't know everything and we want to give a good starting spot. So what you would want to do is start out here with the settings wizard. We know that this is a multi-way cabinet. It's actually a two-way cabinet. So we're going to select multi-way and then if you come down to the multi-way screen, you'll hit two-way. We know that the smallest woof or the largest woofer in this cabinet is an 8-inch, so we will hit the 8. We know from looking on the website that the 3 dB down point or the F3 is, is 80 hertz, so we will select 80. This is an 8-ohm cabinet, and we know that its power rating, its RMS, is 600 watts. So we will put that information in. We come down here to the Calculate button. We hit Calculate. It does all of the math for us there on the Defend GUI. We hit continue. The screen comes up, tells us that it's going to load all of that into the main form. And here's all of the information that we need to program to give us a good starting spot. It really is that simple once you have all of the right information. So we'll go ahead and, and, and hook the unit up. 
So we plug USB into the Defend and USB to the computer. Hit the connect button. It says overwrite the current space. We don't want to do that, so we'll hit cancel because we already have our settings loaded in there. Once we're to this screen right here, we hit the, the computer to defend button to load the defend unit. It says it will overwrite the settings. We say OK. You will also get a prompt window that says do not disconnect the defend unit until the download is complete. What will happen if you disconnect the unit while it is downloading, there's the potential to mess up the firmware. Hit OK and you wait for the progress bar to go all the way across. We read coefficient read back past. We know the unit is now programmed. We can unplug it and we're good to go. All right, so here we are at the back of the mixer, and the youth group here at the First Baptist Church, they use the Allen & Heath PA20 CP powered mixer. So they're not using a separate power amplifier. It's actually a powered mixer. So we're going to come right out of that into the Defend unit. So the first thing we want to do is unplug the current speaker connection, and we want to place this uh, short little Neutrik connector into the back of the amplifier, and from the amplifier to the input of the Defend unit. And then from the output of the Defend unit, we'll go the original speaker connection. So the speaker itself will be plugged into the output of the Defend SA300. And now we're ready to see what we've got. So what we've done is we've taken the settings that the, that the wizard has recommended for this particular cabinet and this particular application and we've listened to the audio and it does sound pretty good. It sounds pretty good exactly like the wizard had recommended. Now if you're in an application where you use the wizard and you think that the cabinet can still play a little louder or, or needs to play a little louder, we would recommend you go back to the main form on the GUI and, and slowly bump up the voltage or wattage depending on how you're programming. Slowly bump that up just enough until it gets to the point where, where it sounds right to you as well. Um, for this particular application within this youth room, I think that's a good spot to be. Now, one of the things that you want to keep in mind is you do not want to see the LEDs lighting up all the time. If they are lighting up all the time, you're asking the speaker system to do more than what it's capable of doing. So you need to either get more speakers, a bigger system of some form, or just simply turn it down to where it needs to be. But for this particular application, I think the wizard has done a good job. I think that the settings are correct, and I think that the youth will be happy with this, and the sound guy will be especially happy because he will not have to go and bring that lift back in here again to change out another tweeter.